I was thinking about consomme. We're making consomme in lab, and oftentimes today we hear things like, "Well, no one makes consomme anymore," or "You know, why do I need to learn this right now?" Uh, and so, you know, I got to thinking. It's like, well, it, it's a fundamental. It's, a, it's one of those foundation skills that we really want you to learn. So I thought, well, why don't I show you uh, a way how you can take that consomme and put it into the, what you might consider today's molecular uh, astronomy. And so um, I, uh, we took some uh, consomme from one of the other classes. And uh, what we did is, is we prepared this consomme with a little bit of xanthan gum. Uh, just like the video showed you, it needs to have the same thickness as uh, cream. And so to get to that point, uh, we added a little bit of the xanthan gum, so it gave a little bit of the viscosity, okay? And um, the other thing that's important is that when you add the xanthan gum, uh, you're going to put it in the blender just like they did with the uh, calcium uh, uh, lactate. And when you put it in the blender, it's going to create all this air, a lot of air. In fact, the color of this that we did on Tuesday was uh, very dark. Um, there's so much air into it. But what you can do to alleviate that air is uh, uh, put it into a pan and put it in the vacuum sealer. And you allow the pressure to build up in the pan and you shut it off before it overflows. And then you start it over again and let it drop down. And you do this several times and what happens is that air gets forced out of the uh, uh, consomme or whatever liquid you're trying to do that with. Or let it sit overnight up to 24 hours, and that will also get those air bubbles out. Okay, you really want to get those out because you want uh, it to be, you know, the clarity is what you're going after. So, we did that with this, and uh, we added our xanthan gum until we got to the, what we consider to be the right thickness. Okay, and then this liquid here, because the recipe called for uh, uh, calcium lactate Buchanate, we didn't have that, but we had calcium chloride, which we've used to do a purification for other things here, so we knew it would work. Okay, and uh, we used the same amount. Uh, we added uh, five grams to uh, the thousand, uh, or excuse me, sodium alcohol, five grams to the uh, thousand grams of uh, distilled water, and then we had about a quart of consomme here, and we added five grams to that as well. And what happens, just like it says in the video, that uh, forms that cell wall around that consomme when it hits the sodium algae, and therefore it forms into these little spheres. So to show you, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a small amount here on our tablespoon, we're going to drop it into our sodium alginate, just like so. And then we're going to take our spoon around. Okay. And what's happening here while we're doing this is it's forming that cell wall. Okay. So it's not going to separate. It's a membrane. Okay. And again, this was just a clarified consomme that one of the other classes made. Okay. And as the video showed us, you can do this with other things. This particular one works well with alcohol and things like that too, so um, I don't know, it's something you might want to just file in the back of your memory. Okay, so now we've got it, that wall form very carefully. Pull it out of there. And this is just straight cold water. Okay, just to rinse it off. That's all we want to do. Okay, so then Carefully, let it drain. And then we slide it into the spoon, like so. And we're going to move this out of the way. And what we did is we took one of our pieces of halibut today and poached it in a cork bouillon. And we have some of our microgreens here. Pull 
vinegar half? No, oh, we're just playing with our microgreens, yeah? Playing! So, <coughs> okay, so then we take our greens, set them on our, in our bowl. And you notice how the microgreens still have, you know, they're, they're, they're standing up and they're, you know, not wet. Okay, that's important because it doesn't take long. We have our halibut. We can take a little bit of our vinaigrette here. I have some lemon supremes. And we could serve it with one of our spurificated consonants. Okay? So, we'll give it a try and you let me know what you think. Okay. So what? So 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 is this? What is this? A starch? What is that? This is the consomme. It's just an extra one. Oh, you mean as far as like starch, veg? Right, right. Plate? What is it? No, it's sauce. It's just a sauce. Right. Like a, a, this would be almost like a chilled halibut salad. Okay. Okay. And um, so this would be like your, your sauce to enhance the flavor of the fish. So what we would do is we would actually then take this. Go right over the top of the fish. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And let it break. Okay. So what would be the actual benefit of doing it that way? Presentation. Presentation. What the heck was that ingredient? What was that ingredient that was in there? The, I'm sorry? The ingredient that was in the... Look at that. We use dancing gum oh, in here. No. And this one here is sodium alginate. Okay, and with the xanthan gum in here, we also use uh, calcium chloride. Okay, we have two ingredients in this one. Okay. You say you substituted this. But right, because we didn't have any calcium lactate gluconate around, so we substituted with calcium chloride. So it's basically the same? Well, I don't know about that, but it works the same for us. Okay. Okay. So what, what is 